Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another edition of WWE 2K22. My Rise is what we're working on with the Assassin, Ricky Lee. He is a 96 overall. He recently won the NXT Championship. And judging from the last set of uh, notifications on the... Um, Social media, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it didn't save. Why did we get, we got 52 points to max it out here. I think we did that last time. We maxed out and we're only at 96. So apparently 96 is the highest you can get. Okay. Okay. But anyway, we won the NXT Championship, and then we got this, uh, uh, I'll win the war, Finn Balor says. Still after a championship match full of surprises, Ricky Lee is still your NXT Champion. So, see, we have that in there. We are the champion. We have acknowledgement there. Finn Balor's upset. Yeah, why? And, uh... The last thing we saw was a uh, real King Regal wanting to put me in a fatal four-way to decide who was going to be the next challenger for the title. So apparently that's fixed. So I might I might be onto something here. We we've had several times where we. Uh, won the title but then didn't get recognized and there there we see after a championship match full of surprises Ricky Lee is still your NXT champion but above that which I'm guessing would be the most recent Samoa Joe when I won the NXT championship he's still that tweet is still there it keeps going up so I don't really understand what's going on here um, but I was being put into the fatal four-way So maybe next time that happens, when we win a title and then it gets not acknowledged, maybe we should just get out and come back in again and, and see if that works anything. Um, I know he was wanting to put me in the... Uh, yeah, we'll just stay away from him now. We'll go to the pool hall instead. Because uh, William Regal was wanting to put me in the Fatal 4-Way to decide who would be the next challenger. Do I want in? Nah, that's just stupid. So let's see here. That was a long load time. Just to go to a different location. Uh, Tasha Meadows. There's Robin Ray. Robin's a podcaster. She's had some pretty cool stuff. What's up, Robin? I'll make you a deal. Okay. Give me an exclusive for my podcast, and I won't report on what I heard about you being voted the least liked superstar in the NXT locker room. Let me break the news about a no DQ match between you and Isaiah Swerve Scott. All right, first of all, I don't give a shit if we're the least liked person. That's the goal. But uh, I don't think we fought this guy. But we'll, we'll take it. And it better be, I better be acknowledged as the champion, whether it's a title match or not. I don't care if it's a title match or not, but I, I, I'd like to be acknowledged as a champion. Because that's getting old. You're the champion one week, defend it one week, and then bang. And you're not the champion anymore. But we've won both in SmackDown, both here in NXT now. So the next move is to Raw. If we get the opportunity. Let's see. I've been looking forward to this one. Jesus fucking Christ.
making his way to the ring from Queens, New York, weighing in at 379 pounds, the assassin, Ricky Lee. This is why things were so much better before storylines. Before the storylines, when you just created your guy, you climbed the ladder, you had different missions that you had to accomplish. When you won your title, you were the champion. And you saved the champion until you lost the title. This is another example of winning the title. I defended it. And then the next week, I'm not the champion anymore. It's fucking stupid, man. It really is, and it pisses me off. The whole fucking thing is about winning the title or winning titles. What what fun is it if when you win one they fucking don't acknowledge it? It's Swerve's house. Does that make you Saxon like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice thing to say. And opponent from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve Scott. The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxon, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. Is it so, it's so stupid. Great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. <clears throat> this match wasn't compelling enough. When you throw in the no disqualification stipulation, it gets even better. These competitors can use barricades, steel stairs, announce tables, heck, even outside interference. Nothing is off limits here, and they will let their imaginations run wild. You're right, Corey. I'd like to imagine that I'm the NXT champion. And the WWE Universe can't get enough of it. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real dick. A rope step! Oh, just completely off target there. I appreciate that. He paid dearly for him. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Ricky's pissed. He's no longer the champion. Stop this. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. You want to take the title away from me? After I won it and defended it? <laughs> Ricky's not happy. And he's taking it out on Swerve. What are you doing? Now that's just dumb, Ricky. Wanted to make him pay. He didn't pay as much as we wanted him to, though. Poor bastard. Wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Here is your winner, the assassin, Ricky Lee. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Apparently, he doesn't have any control of any situation. <sighs> we 
They've held all four major championships from SmackDown and NXT. It might be time to move on to Raw. But that's just ridiculous. I mean, what fun is that? They take the title away from you. Scooper slander. I really didn't give a shit. 5% to running offense. 6,000 more fans. 345,000 fans now. They don't know what's going on either. He's a champion one week. Next week he's not. Oh, isn't that nice of her? I don't care. Tell people I'm the most hated in the, lo in the locker room. I don't give a shit. Mandy Rose. Mandy Rhodes. Mandy Rose. She is uh, raw, isn't she? If she's raw, let me let me get over there. Well, you guys keep ripping my fucking championships away, so fuck you. Let's go. I don't have a championship. One more match. So then if I can come over to here and win the... Uh, what what's over here? The United States Championship, I think, and the WWE Championship. That would be all of them. But that doesn't mean it's going to change over here. You know, I could win titles here, and they could act like I didn't either. So I don't. I don't know. Gentlemen, I think a fight's about to break out. It's our farewell to NXT. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York. Weighing in at 379 pounds. The Assassin, Ricky Lee. No one ever thought he'd leave pro football, but when he experienced the rush of competing in the ring, I think we're going to find him a new song for Raw, too. I like the entrance, but I like the song, too, but we'll find, find another one. I wish I wish they had that, that one that Triple H used to use, the game. That's an awesome song. I didn't mind being at NXT. Danny Burch about to punch someone in the face. But his opponent from East London, weighing in at 190 pounds. Danny Burch. Tell you, it's been an incredible road for Danny Burch. Spent over a decade in the United Kingdom wrestling scene. Competed in NXT starting in 2000. It's still to me NXT is still the minor leagues. It's still a developmental organization I mean I know Dolph Ziggler is the champion right now and that's cool for Dolph but it's just on here it's no different I mean Finn Balor was but to me I mean he's he's not a heavyweight either This is my farewell to NXT, dude. I apologize for the beating you're about to take. And he's taking this to the outside now. There we go. There's a sledgehammer down there too. Guys. 
And unrelenting assault being brought to Birch. Now yeah, Birch needs to reassess his strategy. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Finds the advantage after a string of cuts. going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Oh, what a knee. I don't know where that He's bat went. Thinking big. Perched up top. You gotta be kidding me. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. From the top. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Oh! Oof. Boom! One wicked attack after another. Because <laughs> it just keeps coming. This is getting more. Ricky's letting out some frustrations. <laughs> this is just getting uncomfortable at this point. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. <laughs> We'll take it. Whatever. This is Danny's perseverance getting tested. Ooh, oh, he bitch slapped me. Oh, missed. I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> it is. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. All right, get in the ring. Get in the ring. Re enters under the ropes. Perched up top. Hits to the core like that'll render you useless. No, that was a mistake. But that works. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Up there. Down the hard way. Oh, oh gosh. He's begging him to get up so he can. <laughs> yes, he is. Should have done it 10 minutes ago. Sorry, Danny. Here is your winner, the assassin, Ricky Lee. He feels like he was in a match with an assassin. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. So long, NXT. You guys fucked me just like SmackDown did. I'd like to have a title reign where it lasts more than a week. So now we move over to Raw and see if the same thing happens. I've not heard anybody complain about that. So I wonder why... Maybe some people just don't care. I don't know. I do. It's the arrival of the newest edition of Monday Nights. G 
GM Mandy Rose and the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the Red Brand. Then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. How about you get in the ring with the assassin? See what happens. Yeah. At least we'll get some better name opposition. Story complete. We got 6,800 fans. We are at the hotel. She's the only one left. Let's see. Entrance. Let's get a new song. I like the beginning to that song. I mean, I like that whole song, but the beginning is better. But let's see. See, there's no Triple H. Triple H. That's not the version I like, though. No, I like the, the game, the other version.
That one's not bad. So it's all by the people. I like that Triple H's other, the previous game. And we'll leave it. No, no. Oh, I just had done the preview. It was 80s. See what the nineties are. Yeah, we'll do that one. They got that version of but that's not the right version of the game. I like the one Triple H used previously. called the game that was a great song but that's okay all right making our raw debut what do you need tasha it's no secret that i have a soft spot for the more mean-spirited competitors on the roster it's actually my birthday next week as a special treat Wondering if you could take out one of Raw's more honorable superstars in a no DQ match? I swear I won't tell anyone it's for me. Like, requests like this happen. Be a good way to. No DQ match be a good way to make your Raw debut. Send a message out to the champion so that, you know, when you beat them, you'll hold the title for a week. <laughs> and then they take it away. <laughs> Let's hear how the new song sounds. Ah, uh, yep. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York. Weighing in at 379 pounds. The Assassin, Ricky Lee. From Goldberg to The Rock to Titus O'Neil, Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns, there's a long line of superstars. They're cheering me. Sports entertainment by way of football. Yeah, but this guy left because he needed a new challenge, hitting people year round. Maybe I should just switch over and be a good guy. Because no matter how much I try and get them to hate me, they don't. Yeah, maybe I should make the turn and just be a good guy. They never boo me. overshadowed by Montez Ford's high-flying ability, but Dawkins is one of the best amateur wrestlers in WWE, a collegiate standout. Angelo Dawkins has held tag team gold on NXT, Monday Night Raw, and SmackDown, and looks to continue succeeding tonight. 
I've held gold on SmackDown and NXT as well. The top two in each organization. This is it. No disqualification match officially underway. Anything goes and everything is legal. I do not envy anyone in this match, especially the referee. Shot connects. Especially someone in there with Ricky Lee under these rules. Oh, you bitch. Plan is to get a bat, but I can't. So we'll get this. See, that's why I don't like using those fucking things. He leaves the ring, and there's no cutouts in this one. But different parts of the ring, I guess. Maybe they have different weapons, maybe. Put the whole raw roster on notice. Ricky Lee is in town. Uh oh. Talk too much shit. That's all right. That's all right. As I was saying. Oh, I didn't change my other music. Put the roster on notice. The assassin is here. I forgot to change the victory music. That's all right. Pretty successful debut on Raw. He might disagree. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't do that very often. I don't grab them and move them. Or I did. Happy birthday, Tasha. I did, but I don't do it that much anymore. I don't know why. Kind of got into the... habit that I'm in. I need to do that. Do some more corner work on him. All right, Here let's is your see. winner, the assassin, Ricky Lee. Those can all stay. Here is your winner, the assassin, Ricky Lee. Lee. That sounded like Jimmy Bell on the guitar and BJ Zampa on the drums. All right. Let's see. I, I don't have... Why is that green? There's nothing I can do. I really don't know why 96 is the best you can be. I mean, there's nothing you can do on these. These are, yeah, the bonuses and stuff. But, I mean, there's nothing. Uh, like body durability is 96. Okay, so whatever it was got a bump. Okay, that's why it was green. That's okay. 
and I looked so all right what else just putting this out there I'm pretty perform yeah nobody cares happy birthday nobody cares Titus should we compare stats from your three starts in college What if we take this little debate to the ring? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Halftime heat. Let's go. Titus O'Neil. He does a lot of good in the community. I live in Tampa. And I know all the stuff that he's always doing down here. Really looking forward to the next Legends Lunch. See my buddies, Brian Blair, Bob Cook, Ronnie Garvin's going to be there. This guy is ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York. Weighing in at 379 pounds. The Assassin, Ricky Lee. From the point this athlete accepted a tryout at the Performance Center, he was considered one to watch. Yeah, I like this song way better. His athleticism and power from football combined with expert tutelage from HBK and Road Dog has created a fierce competitor. I wish you could use your guy in universe. I'd put Ricky Lee to work in, in universe mode. I wish you could do that. I suppose you could create a guy based on him but when you already created him why would you want to do it twice I don't have the desire like that one of the most powerful competitors in WWE and his opponent from live Oak Florida weighing in at 270 pounds Titus O'Neill if you've never been to live Oak Florida and you don't know anything about it, let me tell you. It consists of a convenience store and about four mobile homes. Live Oak, Florida is on the east coast, a little south of Daytona. Maybe a half hour south of Daytona. And there is absolutely nothing there. I used to have a friend that lived there. Absolutely nothing there. So this man came from nothing, because there is yeah, nothing in Live Oak, Florida. He was sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential, and I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence Who's the that? and prove to be the future of this company. Who, he Titus? But the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And he's standing across the ring from Titus O'Neil. Oh, they're talking the about me. The apron, we can safely say he is one of the most powerful opponents you could ever draw on the ring. Titus's strength among superstars is absolutely legendary. If he leans too much into his power, first up top, I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I do. Oh, look out. Landing. It's all right. I, I reversed that. Come on now. The face has been planted. What a shot to the side of the face. He's done. Oh my gosh. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Yeah, I got off to a good start. And Titus is maintaining the advantage now. Titus is holding nothing back. No, he's not. Jesus, now he's kicking my ass. 
Jesus. Let's try this again. Perched up top. Titus struggling to defend himself. And Titus needs to find that spark. Lift off. Diving the foot stop to the chest. Takes another trip to the skies. And it pays off once again. Rolling elbow right on the mark. And Titus O'Neill is really... Thought I had the signature big boot, but I didn't. But it's okay. not what I wanted. Good night, Titus. You're not kicking out of this one. To the bench, Titus. Worldwide stock after a loss like that. Yeah, I like that song better. It's got more energy to it. All right. I do believe we're going to call that. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to call that the last match of the session here. Excuse me. There will be a battle royal featuring former football players. What? Turn superstars. Okay. Participants include Ricky Lee, Titus O'Neill, Baron Corbin, Keith Lee. I've beat all of them except Roman Reigns and Goldberg. All right. So that looks like a fun match. All right, cool. We will do that on the next session, though. So thank you for joining me as Ricky Lee makes his move over to Raw. If you liked the video, make sure you drop a like down below, turn on your notifications, and don't forget 
to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the outstanding content I have coming up. Tons and tons of comments. I literally have hundreds of videos scheduled to come up. Um, I'm putting up two a day. So uh, never going to be a lack of content and uh, all WWE 2K22 stuff. So um, I thank you for joining me. And uh, I will see you next session. Have a great night.